What's up everyone, I'm OVG for tastingskills.com. Welcome back to another video. I'm sorry if I took a month off, but I've just been crazy busy lining new things up and especially some cool stuff. And today I do have something very cool. Today we have El Dorado rum. Now, El Dorado rum is from Guyana. It is a Dumarara sugar base rum. Now, what's the difference? Well, basically Dumarara sugar is brown sugar, but it has larger crystal, giving you a deeper molasses than most rums do. Now, Guyana is located in South America. To the west, we have Venezuela. To the south, we have Brazil. To the east, we have Suriname. And to the north, we have the Atlantic, which basically is part of the Caribbeans. Now, El Dorado rum was created in 1992, but we have to go back in history to really understand how this brand came about. In the 1650s, the Marara sugar was planted everywhere by the British Empire, and by 1780, there was more than 300 distillery, making it a real powerhouse when it came to rum. But through heavy taxation, it boiled down to nine distilleries by 1942, and by 1991, we only had one, Demarara Distillers. In 92, they gave us this beautiful brand. Now, they do make several rums, so let's jump into the technicals just so you understand everything that they make. And we're gonna start with the three-year-old white rum. This is filtered twice through charcoal filters, giving it its clean, clear color. This has an ABV of 40 or a proof of 80, and it retails under $20. Then they make the El Dorado five-year-old. This also has an ABV of 40 or a proof of 80, and it retails for $25. Then they make an eight-year-old ABV 40 and proof 80. This one is just under $35. Then we have the El Dorado 12 year old. This has an ABV also of 40 or proof of 80, and this one retails under $40. Then they make the 15 year old. This has an ABV of 40 or proof of 80, and this one retails under $60, but price does vary depending on the market that you're in. Then we have the El Dorado 21 year old. This has an ABV of 40 or a proof of 80, and this one retails at $125. And then we have the very rare and difficult one to get, which is the El Dorado 25 year old. Once again, ABV 40 or proof of 80. And this one retails at $500. Now, when we look at that lineup, it's pretty incredible to me that you can get the three, the five, the eight, the 12, the 15, and the 21 year old for $300, giving you a full vertical of everything that they make and giving you insight on a full flight. Packaging wise, well, there's a difference between the older stuff and the younger stuff. The younger stuff has this taller bottle, which has every information that you probably need. It does have an inexpensive twist off, which is really nice, straight to the point. And you get the old time bottle with a beautiful cork. And this looks like a tappy. I really love this packaging. It's very reminiscent of the 18 and 17th century bottled rum that you used to get back in the day. Now, let's talk about the tasting notes, but before that, do you want to taste like a pro? Head over to tastingskills.com, put your name and email into the magical yellow box, and I will send you my free 17-page guide to the fundamentals of tasting. Not only that, if you want to get a sexy sober hat or a nice sober t-shirt, well, once you have that in your cart, please put the promo code IMOBG and shipping will be free since it's on me. All right, now let's jump into these El Dorado rums and we're gonna start with the three-year-old white rum. On the color, clear. On the nose, beautiful nose that is floral and delivers lavender, violets, orange blossom into layers of oak, caramel, vanilla, light peppermint with hints of anise. This is delicate and seductive. On the mouthfeel, full on viscosity as it coats every part of the mouth and then opens up and delivers the spicy ether notes and wood all at the same time. You get this light burn that is very satisfying into a quality finish. So how good is this? I mean, for $20, you're getting three year old Guyana rum, Demarara sugar base. And that is basically the only Guyana rum that you can find and they're not taking that for granted. They are really delivering here for $20, 
really hard to beat here. This gives a good run to any brand that's out there when it comes to a white rum. All right, let's jump into the age stuff here where we get into the eight year old. On the color, clean amber with hints of deep gold. On the nose, this is once again very floral. And then it jumps into complex layers of oak and molasses that push vanilla, caramel, honey, tobacco, with a classic ether molasses standing in the back of it all. Yes, there is some zesty oranges throughout this nose. It's delicate, subtle, and complex at the same time. On the mouthfeel, the viscosity and sweetness really turns quickly into all these spicy layers of oak that are mixed with the ether. Then the acidity kicks in and delivers much help to give you some oak tannins that are sweet with just a hint of spiciness. The finish is long and precise as it keeps on driving for a long time. This Eldorado eight year old run really gives a run for its money. I mean, you are getting eight year old here it's really complex, it's beautiful, it's giving you a real insight on what Guyana rum is and what Demora Ra sugar is. This was just a stunner. I mean, what are you expecting here? Under 30 bucks, eight year old? This is serious rum. All right, let's jump into the 12 year old on the color dark red amber. On a nose more floral than the previous eight year old. This is more concentrated aroma wise as it has more time in the cast. As you get heavy flowers like lavender and violets again, but then you get a really complex nose from the oak as it shows you its age. But the orange blossom, vanilla, caramel, burnt sugar, spice box, tobacco, and endless layers of oak are well balanced. As you really spend time trying to figure out this dram, this is serious rum. On the mouthfeel, what a beautiful attack of wood tannins that just take over the intensity. It really delivers and shows you right away that this has been well aged and for a long time. And that's what you want. Then those tannins turn into sweet oak that fill your mouth and gives you caramel, honey, vanilla, toffee, coffee notes, and some light smoke notes. The acidity is there from the start and really controls the balance of this rum as it keeps on giving from start to finish. This is really complex and it has a long sweet finish. This is an absolute stunner. For under $60, you're drinking 12 year old Guyana rum here. Wow, just an amazing bottle of rum. Now, I'm a real sucker for rum. I have my own rum brand. This really stands out. It is really hard to deliver 12 year old under $60. Just an absolute stunner. All right, let's move on to the big bad boy, the 21 year old. On the color, amber redwood. On the nose, this has really opened up more than the previous rum but you can really feel the concentration aspect of it all. It's more alcohol focused, even at 40 ABV, but it is very similar when it comes to the delicate, subtle ways of the nose. On the mouthfeel, this is just pure bliss of sweet oak tannins that are wrapped into spiciness, but sweet all at the same time. This rum is so focused and precise as nothing stands out and the tannins on here are just crazy since the acidity just drives this insane finish that just keeps on giving you molasses that are concentrated into beautiful oak layers. This is pretty ridiculous. 21 year old, $125, yes, I know it's expensive, but $125 for 21 year old. That is just insane to me. This was so mind blowing. I'm just baffled by this one. The 12 is a real steal, but the 21, oh my God. All right, let's do a quick recap of what you should buy or if there's a pass on any of these. And we're gonna start with the three-year-old white rum. This is a buy, of course, under $20. You can't get anything better than that. I mean, it's really difficult. And remember, if you're gonna try any Guyana rum, well, there's only one distillery. And this really gives a run for the money to any other big brand out there. Then of course, there is the eight year old. This was also a buy that was so delicious at under $30. It's right in there. This fights the fight with Appleton eight year old reserve any day of the week. And I do recommend that you buy this. This was a real stunner for the money. 
Then we have the 12 year old. That one was my favorite, of course. I mean, for $60 or under for 12 year old, the complexity, the layers, the nose, it was just so beautiful and so well organized. It's an absolute steal at that price. So of course it's a buy. And then the big bad boy, the 21 year old, $125. This is a buy. You can't even come close in any whiskey, scotch, single malt or other age spirit at 21 year old for 125 bucks. This is an absolute steal. And like I said previously, you can go and buy for $300, the three, the five, the eight, the 12, the 15, and the 21, so that you get a full vertical of El Dorado if you wanna taste all of them side by side, which is just insane to me. This is such a steal. All right. That's gonna do it for me. I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a eight thumbs up since that counts a lot to get this video around the internet. But otherwise, my friend, please remember, stay sober. Peace.